But uh, um, but I, yeah, I have something to say. Yes, you know who I've said, ah, oh, shut the fuck up about <laughs> who six nines newest music video. Oh, oh yes. I'm mad. You're mad. He mad. She mad. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. You're mad. Ha ha. It's like, okay, no one's that mad. Like, we just don't care. You, you, but obviously we do because it got 200 million fucking views in like two days. I am responsible for probably 90 of those plays because one day I was out running errands and I just had that bitch on repeat. You're digging it? Dude, I... I do Dude, not, Richard is, everyone, a, is everyone, a high key Takashi fan. Everyone, everyone shut bad up. Baby everyone fan. shut up. I hate him. I love his music. Oh my god! Oh my god! The beats. Richard bang. loves objectively bad music. Oh, the beats bang. The lyrics are fucking catchy, and the music video just has asses. My favorite thing in the entire world. Okay, so much ass, and it, it's literally like I'm like, oh, like six nine music makes me want to fight people like when i'm in the gym all i want to do is just like lift heavier you know what i mean like like to me six nine is the equivalent of like when i'm pissed and i listen to bring me the horizon and i'm like trying to like listen to metal and like sing along and be like but i'll listen to fucking six nine it's like these bitches think i'm stupid i stupid and i'm like yes but he is a person these bitches think i'm stupid but him is I a, ain't stupid but him as a person oh my god just get the just Scram, dude. Just scram. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, dude. Like, he went on that, Instagram. That should be the name. I was just saying, that should be the title of this episode. <laughs> Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Right, I'm writing it down. But <laughs> make sure we, we, got, we got a censor fuck because the We internet. can do it on Libsyn. We'll but do S-T-F-U. Nah, stupid. Shut the bleep up. up or whatever. We'll, we'll shut figure, the, we'll shut the out. asterisk, asterisk. Ast or, You'll see it when yeah. you see it. You'll see it when you see if it. If it's on YouTube, it's probably asterisk out. If it's on Libsyn, we don't care. And we for sure are putting 6 9 in the thumbnail. That's clickbait as fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for that, sure. But, uh, oh, do we should Photoshop you as 6 9 Yeah, please. Oh, my can God. We please? I got you. I will, I got you. Can we yes. please? Oh, God. I'll help, I'll help with that. You. All right. So, yeah. Um, no, but, so listen, like, he. First of all, the music video. Here's the, here's my take on it. The music video, uh, not bad. I mean, it's. I mean, for people who haven't watched it, like you said, it's just a lot of ass, and like he probably had limited time to make it because I mean he just got out of jail, um, and also like the song definitely catchy, but it's it's weird because I don't think the song has that much like staying power because it's just like okay in like six years like how relevant is him getting out of jail gonna be you know but what I mean? he but he was already the most infamous most notorious most hated most liked most watched most followed person and he goes to no jail. other rappers fuck with him like everyone hates him yeah he goes to jail and and everyone's on a drought everyone's like oh man where did that fucking crazy rainbow hair guy goes because five years ago he was the final boss of all the soundcloud rappers yeah it was, it was two years ago well two years ago was when he went to jail Right, but I'm saying five years ago is when he showed up on the scene, um, and then and then he he basically shows back up, and everyone's at home doing nothing. He he teases, he's like, "Yo, um, at three o'clock, I'm going on Instagram Live." So everyone's like, "He oh, broke shit. the record for Instagram Live." Oh shit, he's going on Instagram Live, and then he posts his Gooba video, and then people are watching Gooba and watching Gooba like, "Oh my god, this is crazy." Then he shows up. On Instagram Live and two fucking million people. The previous record was three hundred and eighty thousand people. Two million people watch this dude wearing like a Bruce the Shark diamond necklace, talking <laughs> yeah. and like different watches and like his hair and like talking. I like I like how he explained about why he snitched because I feel like that I was I would nice. I would do the same thing too. Like he's owning it. He's like, yeah, I snitched. Yeah, I'm a rat. But the thing is, there's about street code and there's about loyalty. And he's like, and the thing is, but those like, people were not loyal. He's to like, him. those people weren't loyal to me, and they were they were met fucking up the street code before I even fucked up a street code. Like they were trying to like fuck my baby mama. They were trying to kidnap me. They were trying to kidnap my my mom. They were trying to extort my whole family. Like they're bad people. So like, what do you think I'm gonna be loyal to them on the inside when they weren't loyal to? me on the outside and i'm like okay i can fuck with that no i totally agree it's just fun to hate on him it's like he's, he's a very hateable guy Yo, but he's the troll like he loves the troll he loves being the troll but he, eventually he that is. shit is gonna catch up with him because he's gonna get marked well i mean i would not be surprised if there are not vegas odds for for like when, le, for like when he he's already had to fucking. move again apparently so he was sitting out on his back porch taking pictures flexing on money and some like 12 year old girl on like snapchat like or like like Instagram, like took a picture. She's like, "Look, this is where Takashi lives," 
And then, oh, shit. and then there started to be like a swarm of like suspicious vehicles and cars like driving all around the neighborhood. And then like the FBI had to come and they had to relocate him because he's in the witness protection program. But like, I love how he's in the witness protection program, but he's also got rainbow hair and that's what rainbow I'm saying. teeth. That's, that's like, what I'm saying. It's like, hey, how- guy, your, wit- your, pr- your, your identity's not protected. Well, I'm sorry, not witness protection. He's in a house arrest slash witness protection. But- yeah, I know, but still, it's like funny because it's like, it's like y- y- you're the most obvious guy on the planet. Yeah. You you're can- the only guy with rainbow hair and says the N-word without being black. If I was in a helicopter and I flew over a city, I could spot him in a crowd. I'd be yeah, like, oh, of there course. he is. Yeah, dude, there's that it's like, unicorn fuck. Oh yeah, there he is, the guy with the fucking yeah. It, he's just ridiculous. But I mean, did you guys listen to Chris Delia's new podcast, the one from this week? I haven't yet. Ooh, let me check. He I think, goes. I, I think it has. He think goes because you know he always goes on Tim Pashi Fit Sam Fine and like he he just keeps messing up his name. <laughs> he he was like he was like yeah well, I listened to it he, and he goes he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he said something about Tempachi sucked me off to completion, Sam Fine, or something yes. like that. And he was dying at that line, sucked me off to completion. He's like, hey, it's always to completion. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, sorry yeah, I, to get vulgar, but... Um, dude, I don't know. The guy is... Cunt sock. Is... I think this is what I think. He's on house arrest witness protection. He's he's covered by the FBI, which is honestly like the the strongest mafia slash whatever in the world. But I want to know how much patience and tolerance the judge has for him. His bullshit. Him going out in his patio for like he didn't violate his house arrest. Like that's okay. You can do that. But like, agreed. It's like, like how much it, how much it, money it, are they spending to protect him? And at what agreed. and at what point are they going to be like, bro, you got to go back to jail? Here's like, the you, thing. You got to go back. Like you here's can't. here's the thing. With with Takashi six nine, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. He's fucking dumb, does dumb shit. You're gonna win some dumb prizes. You play with the wrong crowd, you get people mad. You're gonna get a dumb fucking prize, he's, which is gonna be a bullet to the fucking head because you pissed off a lot of people. He's either the dumbest person or the smartest person. Oh, he's definitely smart. He's smart in the same way that Trisha Paytas is smart, but mm. at the same way, everyone fucking hates him. It's like how many real friends do you think that dude has? How do you get everyone to talk about you? You make everyone hate you, especially people in your industry. Yo, Meek uh, Mill, Meek Mill's gonna come out with a fire diss track, and then there's gonna be like six nine versus Meek Mill. You know, yeah. it's this whole thing, and, and a lot of people are like, "Yo, did you know it was a fucking rat that wasn't supposed to be out on bail that fucking killed Nipsey?" So like, what are you doing? Like, you're a rat. You're out on bail. Like, why do you think you're something special? Like, there's a lot. There's a lot of like. And the fact that he's Hispanic and says the N word all the time. There's a lot of weird stuff. He's literally shitting on all the Bloods and all the Crips, like at the same time. Like he's he's finding a way to literally like make sure that's that what I'm saying, in dude. It's every way, shape, or form, every single person hates him. Except, and I'll I'll, I'll fucking say this, I Richard ha- Corbett. I <laughs> hated him until I listened to his music, and when I listened to his music, I was like, dear mother of God, this shit slaps he like scream raps it's like dope fire fucking murder beats like you feel like a gangster (laughs) when you're listening to it it's definitely not intellectual no it's trash (laughs) it's like it's the equivalent of reality tv show for music you know you just it's like bad baby yeah i had a friend of mine text me he goes i I was today years old and i when i found out that bad baby and the cash me outside girl were the same person (laughs) wow and i was like and i was like that means she did a good job branding herself as bad baby if she definitely did. Yeah. That's for sure. Didn't we talk about how she went like blackface for a little bit? I think we casually mentioned it. I yeah. did go look at her Instagram. It wasn't as bad as I thought people were saying, but it was pretty like. Well, it's gotten Ugh. better. My sister sent me a picture. I think she's getting a lot of hate for it. My sister sent me a picture of her wearing way less tanner and. And also way less clothes, and she's still underage. Yeah, she was wearing like way less tanner. Like, look at this picture. So, like, way less tanner. She had her hair done a little bit nicer. She looks more Hispanic. There. She's, she's she, definitely got some lip injections, though. She's Italian, I think. And she got the little the little fronts, the little, you know. Yeah, bregoli. What is... <clears throat> you you black girls are going to know what I'm talking about. The, the little, like... The little waves in the, the front. The, the little thing you, I forget you what use it's a called. little toothbrush and you comb them. A baby, toothbrush? Baby, no, really, use a toothbrush. Baby uh, hairs. Baby hairs. The baby hairs. Yeah, she's got, like, baby hairs yeah, and I shit f- like that. Yeah, I don't remember what those are. When you have them in that pattern, it's, like, a certain thing. I forget what it's called. Neither do I. But yeah, you, it's use, like you, waves, use, kind you of. use a little toothbrush. Because it's a it's a little fine comb. I is it actually a toothbrush? I'm woke, son. I got mixed nieces and nephews. This I know is true. I know about this. This is true. I know, I, about the, I know about this ish. This is true. This is very true. Which might have been a revelation for all y'all. Did y'all know I got mixed people in my family? <laughs> I knew that. I know you did, but these people. Hope you enjoyed that clip. 
If you want to watch the full episode, you can click right here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click right here. If you want to watch more clips, we got two more right over here.